Well, hi everyone and thank you very much, Yaz. Um, my name is Sophie. I work in the recruitment team here at Accenture. Um, I'm based in the Newcastle office um, and I mainly recruit for our apprenticeship programmes. So that is our technology apprenticeships in Newcastle, Manchester and Edinburgh. But we do also have opportunities available in London and the West Midlands as well. So what I'm going to do now is just give you a bit of an overview of the different programmes that we have. So first of all, um, obviously you've all joined the call today um, to find out a little bit more. So do you think is an apprenticeship um, and a technology apprenticeship specifically right for you? Apprenticeships are a really fantastic opportunity for you to learn and earn at the exact same time. At Accenture, all of our apprenticeships are fully funded, so you leave the apprenticeship with no debt and a degree, which is definitely a bit of a benefit. Um, and they also allow you to really get involved and immerse yourself in kind of the working environment. You are treated exactly as every other member of staff is, and you really do get to solve some really complex and challenging problems and get to work face to face with many of our clients, as well as developing expertise in a whole range of different areas. So to give a bit of an overview of our apprenticeship programmes, they are all currently open for applications and the next start dates are going to be August and September 2022. So the technology degree apprenticeships last between two to four years, depending on what location you apply for. And as I just mentioned, the degree is fully funded by Accenture. The way that we work, and I'm sure Curtis and Yasmin will tell you a bit more about it in a minute or two, um, but the apprenticeships work by having one day per week studying at university for your degree and four days working on projects. So you could be working in the office, you could be working from home, or you could be working on a client site um, with different clients as well. When you do first join the apprenticeship programme, um, you go through a boot camp, um, which is a four to six week training programme when you initially begin. And that gives you the opportunity to learn all about Accenture, the clients that we work with, and it gives you some technical knowledge as well before you go on to your first project after training. There are opportunities to rotate on the different projects throughout the apprenticeship as well. Um, so you don't necessarily have to stay in the same place for the whole apprenticeship. But I can see that we have Karen. So if it's okay, Karen, I will hand over to you and let you continue. Hi, Sophie. Thank you so much. Lovely to see everybody. I'm so sorry I was a little bit late. I had um, a meeting with some of my apprentices that overran. Um, so as Sophie has already explained, uh, the important thing for us when everyone joins is that you know, everyone's coming from a non-technical background. Some people might know little bits of technology. Some people might know other bits of technology. Some people might know nothing. So what we try to do with the bootcamp is to give everybody a chance to learn together. So um, everybody that you start with, all in bootcamp together for four weeks, and it gives everybody that chance to support each other and that what we find is that bond tends to carry on throughout your apprenticeship. So from that first instance of learning together in boot camp, you kind of grow together and learn to support each other. And boot camp's also a great way to open your mind to some of the areas of technology that Accenture works with that you might not have tried before, that you might find out that you're actually really good at. So uh, boot camp's really important for us. And then as Sophia said, um, following boot camp, depending on how you've progressed, you might go straight to your degree. And uh, we work with universities to provide accelerated degrees. So you get to complete your degree in about two, two and a half years. Um, if we feel that it might benefit you to do a level three access qualification in advance of the degree, then we will assist you and help you through that. But what we just say to people is when they join, it doesn't matter how long it takes. It doesn't matter if it takes two years or three years, everybody ends up with the same degree and the same amount of opportunity and support. Um, and the projects that people end up on after they've completed their training, it's a mixture of different things. So it can be um, something that you're really interested in, if there's open opportunities in that area. And some people end up on projects where they think, Do you know what, 
I'm going to give this a go. I hadn't thought about this before at boot camp. I want to try this. So we always ask people to keep a really open mind. And of course, there's always opportunities to rotate and try different areas of technology as you move through the apprenticeship. And the one day week at university is kind of sacrosanct. We make sure that everybody gets that opportunity to have that time to learn. There's lots of extra support. We have little code clubs and we have lunch and learns. And if anyone's working on a project or an assignment for uni and they get a little bit stuck, we have lots of people, lots of graduate apprentices and other volunteers who are very happy to help everybody. We just want everyone to get the best they can with their degree and in their project. So the degree that everybody does is the um, Digital and Technology Solutions. Now, what we really need in Accenture are software engineers. So we tend to put everybody through the software engineering element of this. There's a couple of different areas um, that have been outlined that the government has, but we tend to go for the software engineering in Newcastle. And you can see in London, they sometimes look at the IT consulting and Warwick, it's more data analytics. Um, what I would say about all of these degrees, they're all coming from the same standards. So there's core elements across all of these degrees that are exactly the same. And then there's the little specialist modules that you do in addition to those core modules. Um, with all of them, you'll learn a little bit of programming. So for example, with the data analyst one, they might focus a little bit on cloud or machine learning a little bit of RPA, intelligent automation. Um, with the software engineering degree, it is more about um, things like Java, things like web development. Um, absolutely, they look at some data, they look at some cyber. So the software engineering is a bit more of a generalist overview. And that tends to be why we pick it in those three other areas, because it gives you a really good background um, to look and decide what areas of technology you might want to work in. You can see on this slide as well, it talks about the entry points. Um, and for most of the universities, they need about 80 UCAS points. Scotland's slightly different. You need to have a level six or higher to apply. And that tends to be like your Scottish hires. Um, in Newcastle, we can take people who don't have any qualifications whatsoever because we have the option of studying that level three in the first instance to give you access to the degree course. Um, I mean, it's, I, I, we talk about this all the time, don't we, Sophie, when we're, um, we're talking to lots of people about what it's like to work at Accenture. And I know Sophie will have lots more examples, but I know from the apprentices that we've started, we have apprentices of all ages. I have apprentices who are 16 when they join us. I have apprentices who are 40 when they join us. We have apprentices who are from all different kinds of backgrounds, some with families, some without, some really interested in volunteering, some really interested in supporting the LGBTQ plus community. There's lots and lots of opportunities. The thing we say at Accenture is we want everyone to feel happy and comfortable and to be able to do their best and to bring their best self to work. Because when you do that, then we know that we're keeping our clients and all of our customers happy as well. Um, lots of different benefits as well, you can see here. Um, the inclusion and diversity networks are fantastic. And as I say, you know, there's so many different networks that people can join. My favorite bit is when we learn about all the, for example, for Chinese New Year, we had Zoom calls and Teams calls where we learned to make dumplings and we learned all about the New Year traditions with our Chinese colleagues. Um, so lots of different um, networks. Everybody gets a laptop that they work from. There's outstanding training opportunities at Accenture. I know how much we spend on training our individual staff every single year because ultimately technology doesn't stand still. Our customers don't stand still. And we love people who are going to keep an open mind and be prepared to continue learning as they progress through their career. And at Accenture, it's absolutely the right place to do that because there will be so many opportunities for you to learn lots of different technologies and how they're applied for our customers. Everybody gets three volunteering days per year. We love it when our apprentices and grads volunteer to go back out to their schools, colleges and universities to talk about what it's like to work in technology, what it's like to be an apprentice. 
course we all get our holidays and our bank holidays and then there's other things like um, everyone has access to a fit app there's calm apps there's lots of things that the company provides to support our well-being <laughs>